happy Monday, you guys. It's baby week. Are you guys excited? Comment down below. I'm sure by the time that this goes live, obviously you guys already like know that she's here. Hopefully she's healthy because this is like, it's all happening tomorrow. Um, but I got a little package in the mail and it has her name on it. So I'm like, can I put this in the vlog? But yes, I can because it's posting after she's born. So you guys will know. <sighs> okay. If you didn't know yet, oh my gosh, this is gonna be so cute. If you didn't know yet, her name is, oh my gosh, cute, Scarlet Row. Oh, so excited. This is um, just a little like muslin swaddle from a place called Chicory Stitches on Etsy. Totally check them out if, uh, if you have a little one, but how cute. So we're calling her Scarlet Row, but we've been calling her Letty already, um, which is the name that like I've always wanted for her is just to call her Letty. So hopefully it sticks. Um, but the whole Letty Row is, I think we'll probably talk about it. So if you already know, maybe you'll know by this vlog getting posted, but, um, Brad's grandpa used to call him Buddy Row, and nobody really knows why, but he used to call Brad Buddy Row, and then Brad would say it back to him, so it was like this cute back and forth, so we couldn't really figure out like what we wanted to name her, um, but uh, like what we wanted for a middle name, but Row just fit, so she is Letty Row. And she's coming tomorrow slash Wednesday slash hopefully not Thursday, but you never know. Maybe she'll take forever. <sighs> okay. That's it. Good morning, guys. It's Tuesday and it's induction day. I don't, I don't even know how to feel today, but we're going to make it um, a great day. We're starting at IHOP this morning because I gotta fuel up. It's after 5 p.m. today, I can't eat anything until the baby is here, which could be literally anywhere from 12 hours to 72 hours. You've so never been to IHOP? I've, yeah, I've never been to IHOP. I don't know and why. you got a carb load. You got a carb load. Oh. Let's go get some pan papes. I got pancake. I got actually the kids, the kids size because I was like, I don't want all, like four pancakes. Got cupcake pancakes and sausage and bacon with a side of hash browns and more whipped cream. Brad got a side of biscuits and gravy and burrito. Are you happy? Thank you. I just got back from the gym and I got a new chair. And I'm about to try to put it together. Aubrey is working, working away because we leave today at essentially like probably like 4.30 to go to the hospital. Um, I know the last thing she wants to eat is Panera. So we gotta put this chair together and then get some things together so we can get Panera. And then off to the hospital. Okay, so you can watch me struggle putting this chair together now. <laughs> It's nice. Can you adjust the headrest to like come forward a little bit? No. But it, like it's it. Oh yeah, you can. That's you can. It looks like you can come forward. Yeah. <laughs> you getting emotional? <sighs> I don't want to cry into my soup. <laughs> what we got? Tomato soup, grilled cheese. Um, 
Don't make fun of us. That's not a fat and weird. We have fat and weirds all the time. Yeah, and they're going to the hospital. A whole box of them. <laughs> um, so we got a kitchen sink cookie from Panera. Brad has a broccoli cheddar bowl. And we got bread. We gotta eat and go. I gotta get full, guys. Hopefully I don't barf this up later. <laughs> guys, we made it to the hospital. Show me your outfit. Mm. So sexy. Mm. I was, I'm really sad because I thought it was either gonna be like blue or pink and um, it's green. So I gotta find my mama jean headband that has some green in it, I guess. Um, these socks suck, so I'm glad I brought my own. Um, nurses are so nice so far, but they'll change at 645. So we'll see who our next nurses are. Um, but yeah, we're obviously really excited, but I'm also just like, I don't know what to Let's expect. Let's give people updates. So right now it's 5.30, so we'll give them an update for probably like an hour and a half. Yeah, we'll give you an update after they insert this thing into my cervix. Yeah, because I already inserted my thing into your cervix. You're so bad. Okay, we'll see you in like two hours. It's now 6.30. Um, basically when you get here, they go through a lot of paperwork. I don't know how they do that if you like come in and you're like having a baby right away because there's literally a girl I guess out there that showed up and had her baby like 10 minutes later so anyway um they hooked me up to my IV um to get like constant fluids in me just because I they they phrased it as like because you're going overnight you're not going to be up and like hydrating yourself you're hopefully going to be resting so we want to keep you well hydrated for tomorrow and then I'm also yeah, they give you like your bands and then in a, to that. oh yeah so under here i have contraction monitor were you about to pull your shirt up <laughs> well i was like i can't do that i'm sorry and then down here is the heart rate of the baby um word to the wise bring your own dang socks because those socks are super uncomfortable <laughs> She, I think she moved closer to the... Well, her heart rate is 168 now instead of 145, so... She's moving a lot right okay. now, so I think she's just... I think between... Usually she's at like 148 at my appointment. She's down to 154 right now. But... <laughs> so weird that yeah. we're just going to like listen to her heart rate. Yeah. So cool. Um, but yeah, that's it so far. So we're going to get my insert going and we'll check back in. Oh my god. <laughs> I said wait. Okay, it's 8.30. Um, yeah. I'm trying to post on Insta Story, but Brad interrupted me with recording this. Um, but basically I have like 40 minutes left to be laying down to for these meds that got inserted <laughs> to work. And then so at, check again at 10. And then at 10 o'clock they'll come in and check me again and reinsert meds and then they'll do that again at 1 a.m. so we're just kind of trying to I think we're just gonna rest like we're gonna turn the lights off and get s some sleep maybe um, but yeah how are you feeling like what are your main feelings I'm really tired now like I I'm tired I could go to sleep okay. yeah so I think I'm going to like get my bed ready my bed my bed ready, right there. I'm feeling excited and a little bit nervous, slash just, it's unknown. I don't like the unknown. So hopefully everything goes well. It's 10.15 and we just turned the lights off. I'm finishing a sandwich and some chippies. I think I'm having a contraction right now. They're pretty mild, um, but basically this is the last time that I'll eat before they come back in and I don't know, they might not reinsert the meds um, because I'm contracting regularly. So they're trying some different things so that they can spread out my contractions a little bit more so that you can get my cervix dilated more because it's not dilating. So yeah, everything's good. We're just gonna try to rest. Let me, because now your uterus is 
start doing that again. Let me just make sure everybody agrees with me to start. Okay. okay. Even though I do actually need somebody to sign off, but let me just make sure. Okay. Okay. Remember to breathe. Okay. Happy baby. Breathe in, mom. Happy baby. Yeah, I gotta breathe, Brad. You, you, yeah, she's holding her breath over there. Yeah, you can breathe and talk. Okay, so it's 6.30, and they're about to start the Pitocin, but they want happy baby, happy contractions, happy everything before they start, because their method right now is to start off strong, and then if you need to wean off, then you wean off of it. So Pitocin just really gets your contractions going, so I'm a little bit... Um, scared, nervous. Yeah, but I'm I was at like level four and five pain for contractions, but I'm kind of saying if I get to seven, I'll probably request an epidural. I have not been miserable. I don't want to get miserable, so I think that's my strategy right now. How'd you sleep? Did you sleep? I think I slept. Like maybe an hour and a half, like solid, solid, because they gave me that medicine, and now that's not that's worn off. So, yeah. Interesting. And mom's here. She's two and a half to three now. They checked her again. Okay. Thank God your mom was here. <laughs> Thought you were getting pitocin. It's six forty-one. Now. It's six forty-one. A couple minutes later, she didn't want to start the pitocin yet because she noticed my contractions kind of like picking back up on their own. So she's going to give it like 30 minutes and we'll just see if they continue to be like that and then go from there. Oh, but she's from the nursery, right? It may have yeah. been aerials that I'm remembering because that means she'll be at the yeah, one women and show baby too. Yeah. How's it going? It's going. Just don't ask me anything when I'm having a contraction. <laughs> no, they're not. I mean, I, I'm not exaggerating. They're not like awful. I could probably still talk through them if I wanted to, but don't. Charlie, you still looking for the chart? No, I found yeah. it. Okay. I found the chart. Where was it? Where was the hiding? It was in the corner. <laughs> okay. Uh, don't put baby in the corner. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's a really weird feeling. It's like you got a poop, but we're menstrual cramps. Ugh, I don't know how to explain it. Yeah. I got an epidural. <laughs> <laughs> Come smiling, yay. Uh, the epidural process was not as bad as I thought. I mean, they give you like local anesthetic and I think that obviously helps a ton. So the worst part of that was just, obviously if you have a contraction during it and um, you have to be in a weird position and my neck was like killing me. But yeah, it's, I mean, it's very nice to have an epidural now. I'm kind of like shaky, which is normal apparently. So that's why I can't talk very well, but um, I'm what, three, three centimeters now? Yes. Okay. And they're, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna get this party started. You got a peanut or? We are. Okay. We are, we are. Yeah. You got a popsicle? It's giving me life, you guys. It is my um, first meal of the day. <laughs> full day of eating? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, full day of eating. One pop to go. No, but I'll probably get to eat tonight. Hopefully, if I have a baby. But um, they just checked me. It's 12.10. And I'm six centimeters, which is super exciting because I was, like, hoping for a four at least. And so we've made progress. I think the epidural like lets you relax a little bit and I rested so now we're just gonna coast keep on waiting yeah it's now 2 15 and I got I got checked again and the doctor said I'm between like eight and a half nine centimeters now um, but she might be kind of like facing the wrong way which is, it happens, but um, which is like facing up towards your stomach. Um, it just makes it a little bit harder. And, you know, if she's not fitting right, then, you know, maybe you'll have a C-section, that kind of thing. So I'm prepared for anything. I trust 
whatever is going to be done. So we'll just see. Maybe something great will happen and she won't be sunny side up. How are you feeling? Um, I mean, I would like to not have a C-section, but... I mean, like right now, like are you like comfortable? How am I feeling? Are you relaxed? Oh, or... um, oh, yeah, I'm relaxed, comfortable. Wondering if I should get a little bit more epidural. <laughs> I don't know. Born at 324 on 324. 324 on 324. <laughs> That's great. Um, so I'm 10 centimeters now, which is amazing. But they want me to labor down a little bit before I push. And they're also trying to turn the baby still. That's why I'm laying like this. Um, so hopefully she turns and hopefully I can labor down until, you know, three, which is the last shot. And then you can start pushing. But they're also turning my epidural down because they want me to be able to feel and push because I'm on a really high dose. <laughs> So it's happening, guys. Oh, you got on this last one. Hard, hard, hard. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Got on this last one. Push it out. Come on. Come on, you got it. Harder, harder, harder. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm trying to prevent myself from passing out. Well, you're laying down flat, so it's going to be alright. If you pass out, we'll just wake you up again. Yeah. Push, 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 hard, 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 hard. Push, 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 push. Three, yes, four, job, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Why do you think it's worn off? I don't know. I just feel. You still have some from no, it. It's do, not completely. Yeah. It's like you needed that to push. Yeah. yeah. It's you're not okay. really worn off hey, though because you, you don't even feel the contraction. You got One, it. One. Two. Come on, push, push. Push. Hard, hard, hard. Hard. Four, hard. hard. Five. Six. Oh, push, baby. Seven. Eight. Oh, there you go. Nine. Push. Ten. Oh. Two. The hair just keeps coming and coming. Do you push? No, okay. not right now. Okay. Thank you. I just wanted to get that okay. little. Yeah. <laughs> Aubrey, look down. No. Look at your eyes. I can feel it. Push. I can feel it. Yeah. But look at her. Push. 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 Look at her. Oh, my gosh. Oh, she looks so good. There we go. There Yay. we go. Brad just bought back pizza because that's what sounded good. A pizza that's like right next door. So we got stuffed crust with sausage and pepperoni and garlic knots. And he got wings. I'm so excited. I earned this, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. This is Miss Letty Rowe, Scarlet Rowe. She was born at 5.51 yesterday. It is, what time is it? 7.30. 7.30. Um, so she's like only 14 hours old. Um, one of the hardest things I've d ever done. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without everyone else helping me. Um, but it was like perfectly timed. I didn't do that on purpose, but my epidural like wore off just as I was having her so I could feel the things that I needed to feel to be able to push. And then by the time she was born, I was up and like walking around. So that comes with it's like, you know, I can go over that in some other video. Um, but first night was good. We actually, here, hold on. Good morning. Hi. Hi. Sorry, the pediatrician came in, so we had to stop recording. I'm not really sure where Ari left off. Um, but yeah, she was born at 5.51 p.m., nine pounds, five ounces. We had a little scare. Essentially, she was really stunned when she came out. Um, she was pretty much purple, um, and they didn't get her to breathe right away. Um, so the nurses like grabbed her immediately and took her over to her little bed, and there was like four of them. 
they put oxygen on her. They were um, like rubbing her, um, like suctioning out her lungs, um, getting fluid out and stuff. It was pretty wild to watch. Um, but she's fine now, obviously. Um, so we're just, uh, we're probably, I guess we'll be here till Friday because today's Thursday, we'll be here till Friday around noon. They want to keep watching her just based on the traumatic experience that she had. She's good. Huh? She's good. Okay. And, um, and also because, um, they said they wanted to watch her shoulder because, And her blood sugar because she's so big. Oh yeah. And her blood sugar because she's such a big baby apparently when you have a baby this big they like monitor their blood sugar so um she's passed all her blood sugar tests so everything's been fine so really it's just they just wanted another night in the hospital um just to make sure everything was good to go before we left but yeah that's pretty much it so this is little scarlet row <laughs> i was just gonna say that last night um you know it's just when you're in the hospital there's just so many interruptions you wish that they would just leave your dang baby alone because it wants to sleep you know what i mean and she was very sensitive and cried over everything especially after that like traumatic entry um so but she's better now um but obviously the first night they like you are up every three hours like trying to feed like it just starts they leave you with the baby like right away and you just start being a parent I guess and it's just a weird feeling it's a weird feeling but it's wonderful um yeah we'll just fill you in I guess on like the the details or I will about like my journey over the last like 24 hours um but there's not much else to film since we're just yeah. sitting in the hotel room for the next yeah. So we're just sitting in here for the next like day, so there's not much else to film. So we're just gonna put the camera down and spend some time with, mm-hmm. uh, with little baby cakes. Do you want to end it? End it? Um, no, we'll probably end it on the weekend when we come home, right? Well, I feel like we, we will. We can always end it later. It is Friday, about 8 p.m., and we're finally home. Um, we got discharged from the hospital at like oh, at like 3.30 p.m., got home, um, kind of got showered, ate some food, because um, we were there for a long time. We were there from Tuesday, 5 p.m., until, you know, Friday at, you know, 3 p.m., so we were there for almost 72 hours. Uh, what's up? And so little Letty Rose, just kidding getting acclimated to home um miley's done pretty good she's just kind of relaxing chilling doesn't really pay much attention to her you gonna sneeze she's been sneezing it's so funny when she sneezes are you gonna sneeze no okay um we're just trying to sit her up a little bit straighter after she gets up oh no she's just getting cranky i tell she's about to cry um we're just trying to sit her up after she gets done eating more because i feel like she just has like maybe like acid reflux or something because she keeps like they just twitch. They do all kinds of weird stuff, you know? They're just wild. You wild. But that hair. It's definitely my hair. So it is Sunday. We didn't film yesterday, but I think the last time that you guys saw us or Brad was Friday, right? Okay. Um, so Friday night was our first night home. And I would say, like, it didn't go as bad as I thought, but it wasn't, like, awesome that night. Um... She's sleeping fine, uh, but she's just, she doesn't sleep like this at night. It's just kind of like up and down. So, um, and then last night was better only because I was just a little bit more like calm and prepared for it. Um, so yeah, she doesn't cry a lot. Um, but it's just a lot of like making sure that she is like safe and, (laughs) secure and feels good last night she started spitting up because my milk is coming in so we're just like adjusting to that but brad usually gets fairly good sleep i don't think he gets like solid sleep and then what we have been doing the last two nights is just he wakes up at like five after her last feed and then he lets me sleep for like two or three hours however long um but yeah overall it's going really well i have no complaints and we're just in love but today i need to get outside with miley on a walk and then i want to take her on just a little stroll it's really good for them to get a little bit of vitamin d sunshine um so i'm gonna set up her stroller and go outside and that's how we're gonna that's our big event for the day basically (laughs) 
I feel bad. Austin and Brad were like struggling so down wait, here. So this goes all the way in? Uh, yeah. See that? Those little holes? Yep, yeah, it just clicks in. Okay. I had the adapters on it for the Nuna car seat because they it comes with adapters. You can just click it in. But yeah, this just clicks in too. So. That was way easier than <laughs> you thought it was going to be. What's this? This is not for this. That's right? for the toddler seat. Okay. But, yeah. So. I think we're ready to go on our first walk. I literally is gonna be like five minutes because I don't want to keep her in the heat and Which, stuff. Yeah, is she, is she going this way? Um, You're gonna, what, I what think so going? because it'll be like shady, right? Mm -hmm. Aubrey asked for a snack, so I made a uh, bread's um, charcuterie board. <laughs> we made it out on our eight minute adventure. Um, but yeah, today, uh, I don't know. Today's been pretty good. Um, but we are ending the vlog. I'm going to start a new one tomorrow. Um, I'm also going to record a lot of videos this week just talking about like the first 48 hours or like postpartum stuff and all all that good stuff um so hopefully that's helpful for some of you um but yeah we're gonna keep documenting everything um brad actually had a fiasco at the new house yeah they, essentially um our top people decided to turn the air conditioning on because they were getting hot and um upstairs isn't like enclosed yet like there's still open doors to the warehouse um, so that caused our AC unit exposed piping to sweat and get all over the floor with water. So they ruined parts of the floor. But luckily the tile people are also the floor people, so they gonna fix it, but it's still annoying. Our beautiful flooring. Was, yeah, there's nothing you can do about it, so. Okay, say goodnight. Letty's like, say, get out of here. See you next week and um you're worth it subscribe and comment below and like this video you're worth it <laughs>